What is digital literacy? It refers to a person's capacity to access, evaluate, and clearly represents information in multiple digital platforms via typing and other media. It is based on a person's grammar, composition, typing skills, and ability to use technology to create text, images, audio, and designs. And for us today, digital literacy is a big help to us because it is where we can find those sources, share the legit information, and also it is a platform wherein our generation create content and social media. But in another hand, it may also harm us if we accidentally share fake news. So think before you click. There are four principles of digital literacy. First is comprehension. So to all the information in social media, we need to comprehend all the readings so that we can't misinform other people. Second one is interdependence. So it is how media form connects with another, whether it is ideally or literally. The third principle is social factors. Social factors sharing is no longer just a method of personal identifying but rather can create message of its own because of what we are posting in social media. It is what people see as in, in real life. So we should be careful of what we are sharing, especially us for our future educators because it may reflect how people treated us in real life. So the last one is creation. It is where we can simply filter all interesting contents across the web and sharing the best news, articles, videos, and infographics. So there are five digital literacy in society. First is digital divide refers to the disparities among people such as those living in developed and developing world concerning access, the use of information and communication technologies. Second is digital rights, are an individual's rights that allow them freedom of expression and opinion in an online setting, with roots certain on a human theoretical and practical rights. So we have rights that allows them freedom of expression and opinion in social media. Second is participation gap. It arises from two contrasting trends. Example, today issue in elections. There are two parties to trending in social media. So the fourth one is digital citizenship. Refers to the right of participate in social online. So it is a person uses digital where she or he he gathered those information in order to engage in society. The last one is digital natives and digital immigrants to describe respectively an individual born into the digital age and adopting the appropriate skills later in life. So in this, where we people who have grown up under the um, modern and um, techy life. Media literacy. What is media literacy? Media literacy is ability to decode the media message including the system in which they exist. Assess the influence of those messages on thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Create media fully and constantly. The steps to the media literacy. Number one, description. Number two, analysis. Number three, interpretation. Number four, evaluation. Number five, engagement. That's all.